Hello and welcome to Colors of India, our weekly show where we get you a roundup of some important cultural events in the week gone by. I'm Tina Jha. As always, let's begin the program with glimpses of events we've covered for you during the past week. First up on the show today, a Manipuri dance recital. Next, an exhibition celebrating the diversity of Delhi. And then, an art show bringing to life the textures, colours and forms of rural life. India's rich repertoire of classical music and dance covers almost every corner of the country. One among the charming northeastern states is Manipur that has a strong and distinctive impression in the areas of crafts, art and also culture. The Manipuri dance is recognized as one of the eight classical dance forms of India and vibrates the serene charm of the verdant hills of the state. Our first performance today is a Manipuri dance recital by Sovan Brat Sarkar and his wife, Nutan Sovan Sarkar. Here are some excerpts from their performance, Ras Leela, which is the cornerstone of Manipuri dance. Sovan Brat Sarkar and Nutan Sovan Sarkar cast Delhiites under a spell with their captivating Manipuri dance recital. <laughs> Nutan opened the program with her solo piece called Manjari. Disciple of Sovan Brat Sarkar, Nutan is also a trained Kathak dancer and is also well versed with Gujarati folk dances like Tippani, Garba, and Dandiya. Born and brought up in Gujarat, Nutan learnt Manipuri dance after her marriage with Sovan Brat Sarkar and then pursued it as her passion. The dance is generally performed by Manipuri artists, but Sovan Brat Sarkar and Nutan Sarkar are counted among a few North Indian artists who perform this dance with no links to the state. Manipuri artists are very difficult to get and Manipuri artists are very low in India. All over India, mein फाइक मणिपुरी डांसर्स हैं उसमें से मैं और एक हस्बैंड मेरे हस्बैंड हैं और मैं वैसे गुजराती हूं और मेरे हस्बैंड बंगाली हैं आफ्टर मैरिज मैंने मणिपुरी डांस सीखना स्टार्ट करा पहले मैं लीना बेन सारा भाई के वहां पर डांस करती थी वहां से मैंने फिर डांस के बाद डांस करा मणिपुरी और उसके बाद मैंने कथक स्टार्ट करा था बट कथक के बाद फिर शादी हो गई तो मैंने फिर प्रॉपर मणिपुरी डांस मैंने स्टार्ट करा the husband-wife duo performed a number of pieces of Basant Ras depicting the Ras Leela between Lord Krishna, Radha and the Gopis. The 
The Manipuri dance, Basant Ras Leela, is one of the major classical dance forms of India. It is performed both as a solo as well as a group dance. The signature style of this dance lies in its circular movements and fairy-like costumes designed for soft movements. A young student of Sonbrat and Nutan also joined them on stage to depict Lord Krishna's avatar as a child. What makes Manipuri dance more interesting and attractive are the costumes. Especially for women, the costumes in this dance are quite different from other dance forms. Where the male dancer wears a bright colored dhoti, also referred to as dora. While the costume for female dancers consists of a marvelously embroidered stiff volume skirt over which a sheer light muslin garment is worn. I like their, their expression, their costume and everything. They were telling the story of Krishna which is something that everybody, everybody nowadays sh should come up and like, know about their traditional dance forms. and. The main theme of Basant Ras Leela is Lord Krishna's Ras Leela, which represents the fascinating relationship between Krishna, Radha and the gopis. Both artists enthrall spectators with their mesmerizing performance. The piece beautifully revealed the sublime love of Lord Krishna and Radha and the devotion of gopis towards the Lord. The bright and colourful traditional Manipuri costumes and dancers' lyrical movements fascinated the audience. The show for sure was a visual delight. Manipuri dance recital by Suvanbrat Sarkar and Nutan Sarkar was an attempt to showcase the real talent that lies in the northeastern part. With their interpret expressions and enchanting moves, they created magic in the heart of Delhi. We hope you too like this soothing presentation by the duo. And with that time for a short break on the program, there's lots more coming up ahead. Do stay with us. When we return, we take you to an exhibition on the theme, I Love Delhi. Welcome back after the break. Let's now take you to a group art show which celebrates the beauty and diversity of Delhi. Through their works, artists depicted the heritage, iconic monuments, food and the diverse culture of the city. Take a look. Art for Change Foundation put up a delightful show for all those who love Delhi and its diverse culture. Titled I Love Delhi, the group art exhibition displayed creative works of as many as 15 artists from across India. 
the exhibition drew focus on national capital Delhi, depicting its cultural diversity, food, historical monuments and even metro trains, attempting to capture almost all aspects of the heart of India. The exhibition was part of the Art for Change Foundation's 10-day artist residency program. Isaac Gregan, a participant, said, Delhi is a city of migrants where people come from different parts of the country and it has different culture, food and so many historical monuments. The main focus was to depict how art shapes the city. Isaac exhibited his two paintings at the gallery. His paintings, titled Stories Behind Windows, reflected the houses of Delhi. The theme of I Love Delhi, it uh, came with our organization, to our organization rather, um, some six, seven years back, where we were trying to look at um, Delhi. And of course, it's so easy to complain about Delhi, the pollution, the dust, the noise, the crime, the, you know, all sorts of things to complain about. Uh, but we wanted to use art as a tool to shift this um, sort of understanding. How can art really help in changing the perspective of our city? Another painting by Mohammed Sultan Alam beautifully captured sparrows that have nearly vanished from the urban nesting spaces in the city. Artist Manoj Mohanty's work on watercolour and soil on paper was a reminder of our existence with nature and what harm we cause them. From Delhi's mouth-watering street food to its pollution problem, artists portrayed everything in the city that is talked about. This work here, uh, it was created by Mohammed Sultan uh, uh, Alam. He has been in Delhi, he grew up in Delhi. Um, so from an early age, he had an interest in the arts, right? So, so the balloon here, I think largely is, is sort of, um, is, is kind of talking about his child, childish uh, yearning, you know? Uh, the frolicness, the fun of Delhi, the, his, his entire memory of growing up in Delhi. Um, and of course, you have some butterflies depicted, the bird is sitting on the balloon. So it's, it's, uh, it's uh, largely to me, it is the frolicness, the, the, the energy of uh, growing up, you know, as a child in the city. I love the culture of Delhi, the, the uh, you know, flaunting of Delhi. I love the, the monuments which talk about the British, uh, you know, and... Um, also the greenery of Delhi and uh, all these things I see in his painting. I can see a lot of monuments being shown and uh, you know the Delhi culture is being shown and discussed in these paintings uh, which is uh, which is making quite a point because uh, it is showing the real Delhi and I like the work of the artist, the, the strokes, the, the way he has done. Delhi is also known for its rich historical culture. The national capital has a number of historical monuments and therefore the show would be incomplete without them. A painting titled Place of Illumination beautifully depicted one of the largest mosques of the country, the Jama Masjid. Every artist tried their best to capture the city from different perspectives. Indeed, the show was no less than a treat especially for those who are in love with Delhi, its unique culture and lifestyle. This is Vandana Kumari's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Delhi reflects the cultural diversity and religious unity of India. Being the national capital, there is a continuous inflow of people from different parts of the country and therefore the cultural diversity here is very prominent. Besides being an ancient city, Delhi also has the shadows of its past, all of which was very effectively showcased by the various artists in their works. So after that magnificent art show, time for another quick breather on the program. There's still more coming up ahead.
don't go anywhere. On the other side of the break, a solo exhibition of artworks. Welcome back once again. Let's now take you through a solo exhibition of recent works by Shambhavi. Titled Bhurkuwa or Dawn, the exhibition explores the subtle interplay between man, nature and art. And a duality where everything is earth and also connected, yet nothing is complete in its original form. Art Gallery Shrine Empire hosted a solo exhibition by Shambhavi in Delhi recently. Titled Bhurukuwa or Dawn, the art show was a part of Shambhavi's projects where the artist attempted to appropriate, distort and symbolically create form and pristine pictorial elements, uniting both additive and subtractive process to create harmonious organic forms. The literal meaning of Bhurukuwa is the last star of the night. The idea behind using this as a title for her show was to document the intertwined relationship between humans and nature. There is a story about, uh, it's a real story about my grand uncle who actually uh, was very kind of connect, closer to, attached to the farm and one evening he came home and he was having his, his meal in the evening and at the same time uh, he, he, he hears, uh, I mean talking about when I was preteen, so it's this entire work is a bit connected with my childhood memory also. So uh, he runs and he goes there and he tries to save them from fire. But when he comes back home, he he's not he didn't get uh, get up in the morning. He dies. So that's how the whole memory was there, and I wanted to bring that burnt houses which he wanted to save, so that uh, uh, clay houses comes in the in that series of Burukwa. Burukwa is actually the last star of the night which uh, appears at around 4.30 a.m. when the farmers see it and they set out to their fields to start working. Shambhavi who is also from Patna and she's grown up there, she's done her col uh, college from there as well. She uh, in fact is of course, she spent a lot of time in that area, in that land. So she is very connected to the earth and to the farmers, to their livelihood, to the way they uh, sort of live. So that's how uh, those particular things are reflected in her work and in her practice. Shambhavi's works reflect her love for surfaces and patterns within nature, as well as her belief in the revelatory, transformative powers of art. The presentation of her works reminds viewers of mud houses in the villages and rural areas in India. One of her art pieces, titled Ghar Andar Bahar, was a perfect depiction of the material used in the making of houses in villages. She also painted a few of them to show the reflection of the first tree of the sun and the stars. These are uh, made out of cotton pulp and clay, mixed with clay. So we are showing two series of works. This side is uh, Ghar Andar Bahar and the one outside is Burukwa. So that one is also uh, cotton pulp and clay. but. It has some hay mixed into it and she's used acrylic and color pigment and the color is also mixed with cotton so that it seeps deep down into the material and you know we get the texture that we get. So these are actually the mud uh, facade of the village houses that she's tried to recreate. You know how they look during various times of the day. Shambhavi gave different unequal shapes to her art pieces 
reflecting the rough and uneven surface of the earth. These patterns on view reveal the interconnectedness of the world in which we live today. On one hand, the show talks about our farmers and the artists' resilience, while on other hand, it highlights various global issues within a geological timeline. Report Vandana Kumari Shambhavi's works bring to life the textures, colors and forms of rural life. Inspired by the village landscape of Bihar, where the artist spent her childhood. The show was part of the India Art Fair 2020. And time now for our weekly culture calendar of the week. Bangaluru will host Uttapa Music Festival at Chaudhya Memorial Hall, Maleshwaram, 7 pm on 20th February and 6 30 pm on 22nd February. Gharana Festival will be held at India Habitat Centre, Lodi Road in Delhi at 7 p.m. on 21st February. The dance series Pursuing Excellence will be held at Indian Council for Cultural Relations, 9A, Ho Chi Minh Sarani, Kolkata at 6 p.m. on 20th February. And Mumbai will host an event Jazz with Mazer and Smith at Prithi Theatre, Juhu Church Road, 8 p.m on 17th February. So that's it from us on the show this week. We'll be back same time next week with some other notable and cultural performances. In case you miss the television broadcast, you can also watch our program online on YouTube and Twitter. And you can also leave behind your feedback and suggestions. Thank you very much for your time. Take good care of yourself.